Well, good day to you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back. We are doing a video on a new firearm that I just got in the mail. And not to keep you hanging, it's a traditions deer hunter percussion. I'll go ahead and get right to it. Ta da! Here it is. <laughs> it's very nice. No, there's not a lot of videos out there of this rifle, so I figure I might as well uh, do a video on it. And also, considering it's a new gun purchase, and yes, it is unloaded. And to get right down to it, I love it already. <laughs> and yes, I just got to do that because it's a new purchase. To get down to the things I like, the sights. I love the sights. Let's see if we can try to get you. Have a look down. Yep, they are. I think what they're called, true glow sights, <laughs> true glow sights, or something like that. Comes with some slings. But other than that, it's kind of like a uh, combination of new and old and traditional style muzzleloader. It's a 50 caliber, 148 twist. I only got one little problem with this muzzle loader. I'll sit down and let you have a look. I'll get you out of the sun. Here's the ramrod. Watch as it disappears. See what I mean? At least I know it's empty. Definitely need to get a longer one, that's for sure. Do not like ramrods that are that short. But other than that, I love it. I got it from J&G Sales. And for those who do not know, muzzle loaders, that includes cap and ball revolvers, in the United States, and before I say anything else, the rules and regulations could be very, very, very different with your jurisdiction, so always check. But for the most part, the ATF, or the Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms Government Agency, do not recognize these type of guns as firearms. They are considered um, replicas of an antique made before 1898, 1899. And don't quote me on that. So therefore, these guns, they're not regulated. You can just order them online. I didn't have to do a whole lot much except fill out the address where I live and sign some paperwork when I got it in the mail and that was it. And it could vary depending where you live. I know in New York you have to do the government paperwork. Same with California. But in other states you don't have to really do much at all. To get to the trigger and I'm going to keep my thumb on the hammer Good break. I love it already. The construction feels just beautiful. Bluing is very good. And it's not shiny or glossy. It is dull, which is how I like. I love how it is just absolutely thick. The rifle altogether, well, the barrel itself is about 24 inches. So maybe 24. Um, I think this is about 40 inches long altogether, and I'm just making a swag here, so I could be 100% wrong. But the weight, it's got a little heft to it, which is fine by me. I don't mind heavy guns. Quite frankly, I consider that a good thing. And with a thick barrel, I could probably shoot maybe a 110 grain powder charge in this thing. You know, quite hot load. But anyway, here is my newest firearm acquisition. Firearm. <laughs> and it's 50 cal, made in Spain. And it's a 148 twist. Meaning I can shoot round ball, conicals, sabos, or sabos, or sabots. I prefer to call them sabos, but whatever. <laughs> and. Hopefully once I get all the things that I need to shoot this, 
I'll be able to get some footage of me shooting this. So hold tight. So take care now. Adios.